Hey everybody, this is Brett, and this 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara four-door is stock number 24J176. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. I am super excited to show you this Jeep Wrangler today. Not only is it in my favorite color, hydro blue on the Wrangler, but this one has a new option for 2024. If you watched any of my other videos, you know that the Sahara originally in 2024 for the mid-model refresh only came with the two liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that put out 270 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque. Well, now with this Wrangler, they have now added the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine to the Sahara lineup. It puts out 285 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. Lose a little bit of torque there, but you do gain a little bit of highway miles per gallon on this Wrangler. And uh, I thought it was really weird that you could only get the two liter with the Sahara package when they came out with the mid model refresh. And now you can get the 3.6 liter, which you can see right here. And if anybody knows the reason why they uh, started putting the 3.6 back in these Saharas, let me know. My guess is that the Sahara sales were probably dipping a little bit. So they wanted to add this engine. A lot of people like the 3.6 Pentastar. <coughs> and uh, myself included. I got it in my van. I've had it in a Wrangler before. Really nice, reliable engine. This one also has the LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights, which are now standard on the Sahara trim level. You get these silver headlight bezels along with the seven slotted grill inserts, and looks really good on this particular Wrangler. You also get these silver trim around the fog light bezels as well. Color match fenders, which are standard on the Sahara package. The color match hard top is not standard. That is an option and this one has it. So you can still get these sandals in this shroud here, but they're really hard to see. Um, I don't know why they don't really indent them anymore. They just kind of make them uh, smooth, but they are still there. You get the Jeep climbing up the side of the windshield. All these windshields now are Corning Gorilla Glass. You get the antenna in the windshield, which allows you to get a second trail rated badge on the fender there. You get the Sahara block lettering and the Jeep lettering on there as well. The T50 on the doors gives you the information that you need the Torx bit 50 to get those doors off. We did a demo on how to take your Wrangler doors off your JL. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen and in the description below. There's also a full description of this vehicle with all the options and a link to, to the original window sticker in the description below. So check that out. You do get the painted and polished aluminum wheels on the Sahara package. You get the black and silver Jeep logo in the center cap there. Has Bridgestone Dueler HT tires. These are 250 70 R18s. Kind of a highway tread pattern to them. Four-wheel disc brakes on all the Wranglers. You also get the LED tail lamps. Standard, this one has the towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wire. And you get the backup parking sensors. Back storage area. This one has the case for the front hard top pieces. You get a nice storage area underneath there. You also have holders for your door hinge, roof and windshield bolts. You get the Alpine subwoofer back here. And you can take this hard top off. There's four bolts on each side, two quick disconnects. We did a demo on how to take your hard top off your JL as well. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Little Easter egg, you get these seven slots on the door back here. You also get the JL badge for two door, four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording where it was designed and where it was built or developed, I should say. That door shuts nice and solidly. You get the black fuel door cover on there. And that color match hardtop, I think it looks really good. Let me know what you think in the description below or in the comments below if you like the black hardtop or if you like the color match on these Saharas. I'm surprised this one doesn't have step bars. I thought these step bars were a um, standard option on the Sahara, but apparently this one does not have them. This one does have blind spot monitoring and heated mirrors. The enter and go system, just have to have your key fob in your pocket, put your hand in there. It'll automatically unlock those doors. Back seats are in obviously nice condition. It has the kind of bronze or gold stitching. I don't want to get that wrong. I get yelled at every time I call it a wrong color, 
uh, but Jeep calls this color black. I think it's charcoal. Factory floor mats back here. You get 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. You also get two USBs, two USB-Cs back here, and your window controls. These seats go down nice and flat. The other thing I like about these seats is that these headrests stay down, so if nobody's riding back here, uh, you get better visibility. The other thing that is new for 2024 is, or are, the side curtain airbags that they've added. They've made these standard across all the trim levels. And uh, really nice job by Jeep. The other thing that's different, these speakers are in a little bit different spots. And your map lights back here are kind of more positioned over where the passengers would be as opposed to in a cluster in the center there. So that is new for 2024 20, as well. You get the child safety locks on the back doors. That's not new. Uh, the other thing that is new is this badge, the Wrangler and the Gladiator back to back. This one does have auto headlamps. You get the cloth dash on this one with the gold trim. Power mirrors and power locks, nothing different there. Uh, driver's seat height adjuster. Now the power seats are only on the leather interior, so you got to upgrade to the leather to get the power seats. You get the Sahara stitching and backrest, and you get that bronze or gold stitching, whatever you want to call it. And that stitching is on the steering wheel as well. I really like it on the steering wheel. I think this is the best looking steering wheel that they make. Hop inside. I'll show you the instrument cluster and the radio and stuff. I'm not going to go too in depth with this stuff because you've seen it all before. This one has the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, uh, compass display as well. This one has the heated leather wrap steering wheel. This one has adaptive cruise controls and regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls there as well, and audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. This one has the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. This radio is the standard radio across all the trim levels on the Wranglers now. Uh, the only difference is, is if it has nav or not. So this one does have the nav system. And I think with that, you get the Alpine premium sound system as well. Uh, the thing that's changed on the dash, these vents are now below the radio as opposed to on the sides of the radio. And the center console piece up here on the dash is different as well. It used to be one piece. Uh, now they've divided it into two kind of coin holders or whatever. And then this center piece there. Everything from here down is the same. Um, audio, volume, tune controls, all that good stuff. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, start, stop, capability, stability control, parking sensors, uh, speed select, crawl control, screen off, and then power windows. You also get a USB, USB-C, and AUX jack, and then four auxiliary up fit switches, which comes with that towing package, 4x4 shifter, and your 8-speed automatic transmission. You get the keyless entry with the remote start and the flipper key on there as well. Like these key fobs, there's also a spot to those. We're going to check out the original window sticker in just a second. We're also going to turn on all the lights on this vehicle and turn off the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are. I'm going to go through the options here. This one has AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities. Uh, also your backup camera is here and everything. Uh, but I wanted to show you all the different apps that come on here. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going to quickly scroll through them. It has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay wirelessly so you can project your cell phone to the screen. And then it has off-road pages. You get your backup camera, which I will show you those because they make those crystal clear. This one also has the front camera, which is pretty cool. It's a trail cam. So if you turn those, if you turn the steering wheel, those lines are dynamic. And what that does is it what tells you kind of where the tires are going to be. So if you're off-roading in this thing, you can make sure you're not going to hit any rocks. Or if you want to hit a rock strategically, you'll be able to do that with good confidence. Uh, the other thing is the off-road pages. So you got your steering angle, transfer case, latitude, longitude, altitude, accessory gauges, pitch and roll, and you can go back to that front camera for those off-road pages. So a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this radio. Then you get your system. A lot of this stuff is just links to other parts of the radio. But anyways, that's everything on the interior other than the assistant SOS buttons, auto dimming mirror, and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lightning systems. You get all the quick disconnects to take that hard top off. And you can tell if it's got the Corning Gorilla Glass because it's got the Gorilla there. But if it's 2024, it's going to have it unless you're in a sport package. Uh, so I'm going to turn on all the lights. And we're going to take a walk around this thing with all the lights off and check out the original window sticker. I think I'm going to do the original window sticker first. So let me pause it. 
So here's the original window sticker. Also note that this is going to be linked in the description below. Uh, so check it out there if you don't want to go through this and fast forward if you want. 2024 model year, uh, Wrangler four-door Sahara. Hydro blue is the color. PBJ is the paint code. Black interior. I think it's charcoal. Um, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 24 valve VVT engine with start stop. Eight speed automatic transmission. So the uh, Pentastar is a $2,000 option. You can see right there. And that's on Jeep's website as well. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment, including the command track, the 345 gears, um, remote start system, all that stuff is standard equipment. Interior features, the Uconnect 12.3, Uconnect 5 12.3 radio, uh, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, Sirius XM, all that's standard. Exterior features, all that is standard. Optional equipment starts with the Hydro Blue Pearl Coat, which is 595. Trailer tow and auxiliary switch group is 1195. It gives you the auxiliary switches that we just looked at right there. And the receiver hitch, seven pin and four pin wiring. The technology group is 2295. That gives you the Alpine premium sound HD radio, GPS navigation, connected travel and traffic services. You connect five with a 12.3 inch touchscreen, integrated voice command, integrated off-road camera. It also gives you the subwoofer in back. Safety group is 1295, blind spot monitoring and automatic high beam headlamp control, park sense rear park assist system, and 3.6 liter Pentastar is 2000 bucks. Also gives you an engine oil cooler. So that is nice as well, especially with the receiver hitch on here. Body color three piece hard top is 1895 and your wheels, which are the 18 by seven and eight, seven and a half inch aluminum is 1095 bucks. Total MSRP on this one is 61460 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below is a link to this vehicle on our website. Click that to see availability and all the rebates and incentives. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. And you do get a little bit better fuel economy for the highway on with the 36, 223 highway, 18 city, 20 average. I think it's the average is the same between the two liter and the 36. And then uh, greenhouse gas is a four and smog rain is a seven. So good on the smog rating, kind of in the middle on the greenhouse gas rating. Not really rated for any five-star safety ratings, uh, except for which is three. So let's go check out these lights. Like I said, I'm gonna turn all the lights off in the picture studio. We'll do a final walk around and we'll be all set to go. Give me one minute. All right, so you can see just how nice and bright all those lights are. Uh, Jeep has really done a nice thing making the LED lights standard on the Sahara, Rubicon, Rubicon X, um, and an option on the Sport S. Uh, really nice and bright, definitely an upgrade over the halogen lights, and uh, they look really good. They're very bright, nice white light as well. And coming around to the back here, you get the LED tail lamps, LED license plate light, and those look good as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this particular Wrangler. I'm also very curious as to what you think of the 3.6 liter being in the Sahara package. I know it definitely, for me personally, has put the Sahara back on the map as far as a trim level I would consider. I like the 3.6. I've had it in a couple vehicles myself and uh, just let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And uh, to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, Compasses, you name it, we got it, Renegades. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you wanna check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Wrangler specifically walkarounds on YouTube. Over 500 Wrangler videos and over 9,000 videos total on the YouTube channel. It's also the best way to stay current on our ever-changing and vast Jeep and Jeep Wrangler inventory. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to the YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara with the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine in Hydro Blue Pro Coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.